morning. Welcome to Ordinary Days, where life with God is anything but ordinary. I'm Denise Larson Cooper. A week ago, I was in Michigan, in the Eastern Time Zone. By Monday, I was back home in the Central Time Zone. Tomorrow, I travel again into the Eastern Time Zone. When planning a trip to another time zone, I make decisions for travel according to the loss or gain of an hour. I get ready for departure based on my current time zone while anticipating my arrival in the next. As Christians, we live in different time zones as well. Now we live in the visible world. However, one day in the future, when the Son of God returns, this world will be recreated and reconciled to its original condition. Until that day, Christians live with the current condition of this world while anticipating the arrival of the heavenly kingdom. So, we have to make decisions by taking both worlds into account. To make sound decisions for this life, we must be obedient to the Spirit of God. The work that he accomplishes through us in this world will continue in the realm of God through him. All the work that we do in this world in cooperation with the Spirit is part of the reconciling work of God in Christ. Our work with the Spirit will bring change to this world and will ultimately be completed when the kingdom of God is revealed in all its fullness on the day of Christ's return. James wrote, in chapter 2 verse 18 someone will say you have faith and I have works show me your faith apart from your works and I will show you my faith by my works James reminds us that the work we do here with the Spirit reveals our belief in Christ's promise to return and demonstrates our faith in the reality of God's eternal kingdom let's pray Father, fill us with the Holy Spirit so the fruit he bears in us will reveal the reality of God's eternal kingdom. Amen. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.